How you doing? Jack Scalfani here, Cooking with Jack Show. Welcome to the show. If you've never been here, welcome to the family. All right, so we got goodness right in front of me. We're going to be doing these beautiful taco stuffed bell peppers. I can't wait because I can have it. As you guys know, sponsor of my latest videos has been profiled by Sanford. And they are the eating plan that I'm on. They coach me. They teach me. They care about me. They've watched me lose 16 pounds already. So everything's going great. Only been on a couple weeks. Um, it's going good. So anyway, watch my progress on the show. But in the meantime, let's cook some delicious food that even I can eat. Okay, guys, as we do... A quick rundown through all the ingredients. You ready? Mexican style cheese right here. Look at this. Five pound bag. We're going to use it all tonight. Man, I ain't going to poop for a week. It's going to be awesome. We got some bell peppers, some pico de gallo, some cumin, because cumin needs to be in every Mexican dish. You got some, uh, we're doing like a, a triple batch of this because it's going to be so good. Got some ground beef. I got my taco packets, got my butter, sour cream, onions, rotel. This stuff's great and everything. Unbelievable. So let's get everything started. So I wanted to show you guys the bell peppers. Now, what did you say? Make sure what? Make sure the stem is level or not like all crazy. So you don't have a very long stem. If you do, just snip it, okay? Because we're going to be cutting straight down through the middle of each one carefully. Oops. Now you, and then you're going to empty all these seeds and this meat out of the center and keep it a, a boat. Okay? So as, as you can see, we sliced down the middle. Okay? And then we've got these little bell pepper boats. We've cleaned the meat and the seeds out of the inside. We're going to be filling them with cheese and meat and cumin. And all the ingredients are going in this little boat. It's going to be delicious. Okay, normally if you're going with, we're going with a triple batch, so we need our whole stock pot. Normally I'd use the skillet, but I don't think the skillet is big enough for this recipe. So I'm using my stock pot. And got the flame going. Check the flame right there. Okay. Go ahead and put your butter in. Once that melt that melts all the way down. Then we're going to throw our onions in. I don't know about you, but I get lazy. I'm just going to throw them in now before the butter all melts. There we go. As you mix them around and saute these for two to three minutes or until soft. All right, guys, it's time to put our meat in now. I'm going to brown this. Lots of meat. By the way, it didn't ask for this, but I'm adding this as an extra. I'm taking some cumin. I showed you in the beginning we're using cumin. Put some in here. So let's add in our taco seasoning. It says to put a lot of things in, but each step I'm going to give it a mix. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's exploding fragrance in the kitchen. It smells amazing. Next step is our rotel. Remember, I'm making a triple batch. But the single recipe is down below. Kind of, I'm turning, I'm turning off that flame so this doesn't get all melty. So we're putting almost all our cheese. We got a triple batch of cheese. All my cheese in there. You ready? Let me stir it. Oh, you want to stir it for me? Okay, we got this meaty goodness now. And we're going to take each one and carefully stuff them. Take your time. Everything's beautiful. There's no rush. You already got your oven preheating at 400. If not, Set it to 400 right now because that's what we're cooking at. Okay, guys, the next step is to cover these in foil. 
We're going to put these in the oven 30 minutes, okay? Uncover that tray the last five minutes, and we'll tell you what to do on that last step, okay? So really, we're only going to cook it 25 minutes, then we're going to uncover it. So meet us back here in 25 minutes. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so we've cooked it, wrapped in foil, 25 minutes. Now let's uncover it. We come on in here and we take a little bit of cheese. We're going to top off every single pepper. All right, now that they're topped off with cheese, put them back in the oven five minutes and keep it on them. They should get a little golden brown, a little melted. Should be beautiful. A cucaracha, a cucaracha. I'm oh, sorry. So, let me move out of the way so Tammy can put two on a plate. These are really cheesy, really beautiful. They look amazing. That's cool. Uh, put a little sour cream on each one. That looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and flatten them on top a little bit. There you go. So that when we put our pico de gallo on top, they don't go fall, flying off. Take some pico de gallo. Then take a little lime. And go ahead and squeeze it on. Come on just show it. It's going to be beautiful. Squeeze some, some fresh lime juice. There you go. Beautiful. And if it's not yours, you can serve it with a wedge of lime, sour cream, pico de gallo. It's beautiful. This looks amazing. Did you see that up close? Oh my gosh. I couldn't wait. You could smell it in the kitchen. Last five minutes, put the cheese on. Um, I just want to thank um, Profile by Sanford for teaching me how to eat well, teaching me how to make this stuff. And... Uh, this is something that's totally okay for me to eat. Um, I'm eating a lot healthier. I'm dropping a lot of weight. It's all good. All right. Let's give us a try. Here we go. Oh. Nope. Not that hot. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. We used the spicy taco mix. Made it a little spicier. Definitely. Home run recipe, guys. So good. Try this out. Recipe down below. We love you guys, and we will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.